Hey guys, VenomKid17 here. Today, we're back with SCP Containment Breach. So, if you recall, I got to here, uh, where the crocodile things are downstairs, and I actually did go down, uh, and I tried recording it, and whenever I try to go downstairs... Whenever I try to go downstairs, there's a memory access violation, meaning I can't go downstairs. I know. It sucks, and it's not just an excuse. I'm actually being serious. I tried to go down there twice, both times. The second a loading screen came up for the elevator, I got memory access violation. Right, these are the two doors that I wanted to come to, the ones that needed a keycard before, so... Okay. That's good, because we wouldn't have been able to get here if I hadn't thought about that. Right, so first we have the blue key. Now, if we can find the door that this opens, we can get to a parallel dimension that is not Larry's. Because fuck Larry. Uh, and over here we have the Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Which we will not be using under any circumstances. Okay, we've read that. I think, we, yeah, we've read that before, so we don't need to read that again. And do we really need a level 1 keycard? We've got the Omni, I, yeah. Okay, let's see what's in here. 714. I don't know if there's dangerous stuff in these doors, so I'm like saving beforehand to make sure. Okay, we got the Jade Ring. Uh, okay, and that's it, I guess, for here. Now we got everything from those rooms, let's move on. Only a minute in, making some progress. I like it. Hello there, you little shit. Let's keep you locked in there. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's not let you kill us. Dying doesn't sound like fun. And yes, I did order that sausage pizza. Sorry, I was doing the voice, I thought. God, that gas mask breathing thing that they added, it still freaks me out, like, ugh. I think I'm just circling around again. Which wouldn't surprise me in the least, to be honest, because I've done that before. In this, in this, like, version of the game as well, in this very map, I've done that before. So... Yeah, <laughs> I think that's exactly what we've just done. Okay. I'm thinking, is there anything maybe that we could try with the key and all that? Is there anything we could maybe... This is probably going to break, like, the items, but I think we should at the very least give it a go. Because if we could actually make something random and funny, that'd be awesome. But I think that key opens any door if I'm right. I can't remember. Including the ones that need a passcode. That didn't do shit. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's try putting you in there. It's probably not going to do anything. Like, it's probably been specifically programmed to just go in one end and come out the other end exactly the same. So, it probably won't do shit, but... On the off chance something cool does happen, we have to at least try. I totally expected that to come out as, like, the witch doctor dude. Uh, okay, well, let's try putting in the first aid kit. Because you never know with the first aid kit. I, I'm not even going to try the jade ring because I'm guessing the jade ring won't do shit. And so the first aid kit turns into... Strange bottle. I'm going to find out what that does. Last time I tried to use it, I thought it sent me to Larry's dimension, but it didn't. So I'm going to make 100% sure on what that is before I actually use it. So I got a special request from one of my subscribers, and I've played with him in the past. Just scare me, that's fine. Hamster does Minecraft. And what good old Hammy wanted me to do is to find a cowbell and ring it. Something I was strictly against doing. Let's see if I was right. Okay. I wasn't. This is the wrong key. Okay, uh... 
Aversion to light my foot. He doesn't mind light. He's never had any issue with light. Never, ever, ne ever. He just doesn't like to take all at once. No, not all. Not all. Not at all. If this was test done during a breach, some girly item that could see things. She watched it. I saw. Okay, I I can't bother reading, like deciphering that calligraphy. I'm bad at deciphering calligraphy. I don't know why I was trying to. Larry's gonna be here somewhere. I just fucking know it. Cause I mean, it's fucking Laho, You son of a bitch. Peanut, I love you. Oh, he's not there. Ah, shit! Pedo clown! It's been a while. I am not even gonna save her. <laughs> okay. Sexy. Okay, open the door, maybe. Okay, since he hasn't tried to come kill me... It's a safe bet that he won't. Okay. I'm remembering how to do this very slowly. By which I mean I'm remembering that I have to do this slowly, not I'm slowly remembering. See, I remember there was a time when I had no fucking idea what to do. And all I knew was that the pedo clown person was gonna kill me. Holy shit, that was close. Wasn't it? Fuck me, that was close. I like saw his arm, I was touching him. Like he used to touch me. Oh god, that was fucking terrifying. I seriously thought, oh my fucking god, I am dead. Yeah, fuck that, we gained nothing useful from going in there. <gasps> Entrance zone? That's useful, we're gonna open that now, in case something goes wrong. I saw you. What the fuck? Did they add another SCP? Please tell me that's not going to try and kill me. I don't want to get hunted by a teddy bear. Okay, I used to love my teddy bears. I don't now want to be betrayed by one. Fuck that. <clears throat> and by the way, for anybody wondering, yes, the key to doing anything in SCP Containment Breach is saving over and over again. Yeah, we're not going in there. That's that's suicide. Simply put. But the thing is, as paranoid as like you, sir. I'm staying away from you. I guess there's two ways to get into the entrance zone now. I don't know if that should like make me happy or sad, but Oh, good for me. Okay. What? <laughs> oh my fucking god. And we are back, so yeah. Memory access violations. They keep happening, I don't know why. Like, why? Why must there be that sort of thing going on? I'm hoping in this version. The fuck was that? I'm hoping in this version of the game, there'll be like. God, I thought there was something behind me. Oh, game! Ah, get up the stairs, stop making me paranoid. I guess you have to like sprint up the stairs to get up there in one pop. Annoying as that is. Oh god, this scares me. It does. This game fucking terrifies me, guys. 
I love it, but it terrifies me, and that's the beauty of SCP Contain Breach. Oh, hello, Peanut. Oh, Peanut's not here today. I guess he took the day off work. I actually haven't seen Peanut since beginning this episode, weirdly enough. Oh, yeah, so if you guys remember back to the last episode, uh, there was this room, like a hallway. I kept going into this room and out of this room and yada, yada, yada. That doesn't look suspicious at all. In fact, that looks like a glitch because the door's not connected. I just realized I passed a room in which I could have gone left. So why didn't I? Because that these are the rooms that generally tend to be connected to the computer, dude. Nope. <laughs> I know that hallway. I know what Larry does. Fuck that. Up the A. I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. That's not happening. You can screw yourself right there. Save the game. There we go. Fucking game trying to get me killed. I I know what you're doing. Ah, oh, come on! Watch, watch. Run, 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 run. No! I don't like it! Make it stop! And we're at the cowbell. Fuck you, Hammy! Fuck you! I do not need to be scared more, okay? But I have to... Ah! <laughs> we found the teddy... So that teddy bear wasn't SCP. Anyway, get back to my point. The, uh, the hallway... That goes on forever. It's like a randomly occurring phenomenon, apparently. It's called SCP-970. So, go to the SCP wiki in the description below. No! 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 Fuck you! Go to the SCP wiki in the description below to find out more about that. Mother f Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This is a dream. The last dream you may ever have. The last dream you may ever have. The nightmares are coming. Yeah, 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 I've heard you before. Fucking Larry, you stay in one place for like two seconds and a bastard gets you. Unfortunately, you must. Shut up. Right, let's grab that thing. Run away. Okay, are we gonna get killed the second we try and help this guy by Larry? Is Larry gonna do that to me? Motherfucker! I was sure that worked. Hey, buddy. Larry, why? I don't want to die. I'm handsome and manly and sexy, and I have so many fan girls. And no enemies, and everybody loves my videos, and I have a million subscribers. Please believe me. Don't kill me! I don't want to die. Ah! Oh. I'm doing so well. I got the cowbell because fucking Hammy wanted me to. Fucking Hammy. Fucking Hammy. I blame this on you. And of course, the only way for us to run back to is this way. I blame you, Hammy. Get up! I don't think... I think he stopped coming. Oh, thank God! I like how it makes me go all the way down and up the stairs again before Larry stops. Well, fuck you two then, is all I have to say to that, is fuck you two. This looks like a fairly safe spot to save and read up on the documents. Oh, I fucking hate you, Hammy. Fucking Hammy. For your hamminess. And your fucking ham bone. I'm gonna call you ham bone from now on. Hey, you like those apples, bitch? God damn it, Hammy. And the worst of it is, as well, because, like, the thing in this is a fact, as well. Whenever Hammy tells me to do anything in a video game, it always ends up going to shit. The second I grab the cowbell with the intention of using it, oh, Larry has to show up. 
On the bright side, Larry doesn't like naturally occur again and again and again. So he's despawned for a while. At least I can say that with certainty. I can't say much else, unfortunately. I can't say he's not going to come after me because I don't believe that. I believe he's going to come after me again in a couple of minutes. Here it is. The whereabouts of SCP-1040 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in the site. Subject is to be secured for containment, but any creation of SCP-1048 should be destroyed on site, unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are to be allowed in sight, yada yada yada, to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. SCP-1040 is a small teddy bear, approximately 33 centimeters in height. Although, th through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear. Subject is capable of moving on its own and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The more anomalous behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials, by by a process that is yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver suggested that SCP-1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it to a full sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Currently, there are three known creations of SCP-1048, designated A, B, and C. The nature of these creations has been in stark contrast to SCP-1048's general behaviour, as all have extreme, exhibited extreme violence towards humans. Okay, so this is like an actual enemy. This is one of the new SCPs. You know how many- there are times when I hate you, and this is one of them. You absolute bastard! God, I fucking hate you! I'm gonna be thinking I see Larry everywhere, because the guy kinda looks like Larry. And that's your fault. That is your fault. You caused this. I can get us both safely to the surface. Where are you? The control panel in there and open the chamber doors for me. Do I really want to do that though? In light of mass suicide homicide of the members of the research team tasked with transplanting the passages garnered from SCP 038's containment cell, the moral damage in the area and general loss of staff well, dealing with SCP-035 to either death or insanity. It has been decided to coat the inner outer walls of its containment cell with SCP-148, which has proved well- Alright, I admit it. I wouldn't blame you if you don't think I look trustworthy. But please, I need your help, and quickly. The mask has been stuck to my face for some time now, and I think I might need medical attention or it might kill me from the inside. Just let me out, and I can find us an exit in a matter of time. To coat the inner and outer walls of its containment cell of SCP-148, which has proved well in the containment of SCP-132, see document 132-01, right. sorry. Look, if you still don't think I'm trustworthy enough, oh my God. there's a locked storage room behind you. You probably noticed that it's guarded with a four-digit passcode, inside Ooh. some useful equipment, as well as a pill of SCP-500. The passcode is 5731. Got it? Five seven three Five, one. Seven, three, one. Oh my god. Oh, I am letting you out. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, whatever. Guys, I cannot believe this. I, uh... Okay, we don't need that. And um, we know about the teddy bears, so we don't need that. So we'll pick up this and the pill! Uh, SCP-035 is to be kept within a, her a her hermit sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters. I've read this before in a previous episode, so you guys can just go find that fucking episode if you want. I don't know. I want you to watch all my episodes anyway, so fuck you. Okay. We cannot eat this pill. 
until absolutely necessary. All right, so we need to like organize my inventory here, uh, just a bit. Okay, so we don't need you anymore. We'll keep all the SCPs on like one sort of area, and that way we won't accidentally use any of them. Uh, that's not really an SCP though, is it? <sighs> For God's sake, do you want to maybe? Do you want to maybe work with me here? Thank you. Okay. Uh, the empty cup, I'm gonna get rid of actually because I might not really have use for that. I don't know why I'm collecting all the SCPs. Maybe I'm just stupid. Who fucking knows? Wait, what? Alright, oh, we're gonna like close this again. Why can't we get out? <gasps> no! The game broke! No, game, why'd you break? That's not cool. Ah! Well, I'll figure it out in the next episode, because we have to cut this one right here. It's been going on for a while, now it's been going on for about 20 minutes. But yeah, interesting episode. So, I couldn't go into the crocodile pit because it kept coming up with a memory access violation, and I guess it's going to keep doing that with a couple of things. I guess that's an ongoing bug they haven't managed to fix. I know it's not my computer, because I've upgraded it with a better graphics card, more RAM, as I said in my upgraded computer video, you'll find floating around here somewhere. Um... So, yeah, I know it's not me, but there you go. Also, I didn't post any videos yesterday because it took so long to get the Halo and the Quake videos up. I just needed a rest. But, uh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, video, the Goat Simulator video will be coming out after this one, so look forward to that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, a comment. If you're new to my channel, take the time to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. This is VenomKid117 signing out. See you later, hunters. Listen closely. This is important. A waiting choice will be the right selection for a big mistake. If the wrong choice you choose, you lose foundation.